In April 2021, we introduced updated door supervision qualifications. In October 2021, we introduced top-up training for door supervision license holders wishing to renew their license. The top-up training brings the skills of existing license holders into line with the new requirements without them needing to do the full qualification. You need to complete a door supervision top-up qualification before you can renew your door supervision license. If you are a door supervisor, this new training will help you keep the public safe, follow new working practices, understand recent changes to the law and make the best use of new technology. Before you apply to renew your license, you can choose one of these two options. 1. Take the door supervision top-up training and apply to renew your door supervision license. Or 2. Take the security guarding top-up training and switch to a security guarding license. This training is shorter than the door supervision top-up training. You should consider the duties of the job that you do or may want to do in the future as you might be required to hold a door supervision license. You should speak to your employer to check which license you need. Click the link in the video description to learn more about the security guarding top-up training. Before you can start your door supervisor top-up training, you must have a first aid qualification. You can use one that you already hold if it has over 12 months left on it. Some training providers will bundle the first aid course with the top-up training, so check this before starting a course. For door supervision, you need the Emergency First Aid at Work qualification or an equivalent. This training will take you one day to complete. The qualification you need before you can renew your door supervision license is either the Level 2 Award for Door Supervisors in the Private Security Industry, Top Up, or the Award for Door Supervisors in the Private Security Industry, Top Up. The training will take you two days to complete. You must get your training from an approved training provider. These are providers that have been approved by awarding organisations that offer SIA license linked qualifications. Click the link in the video description for information on these awarding organisations. You should contact one of them to ask who offers this training in your local area.